Telnet is a program that allows you to have a text session with a remote computer. Back in the day, it used to be a great tool for remotely logging into another computer, just like people use SSH for today. You could do Telnet and then the name of the computer, and then optionally a port number. By default, it's 23. And that will uh, let you put in your password, and then you can start typing commands. Whoopee. But it was unencrypted and there was no good way of copying the files over, and there was no way of knowing for sure if you were uh, connected to the correct server. So SSH made large improvements to all of those things, and now everybody uses SSH instead. But Telnet is still useful for a lot of things. Many different programs are uh, built off of TCP packets. And Telnet is one of the simplest TCP programs you can possibly do. So, you can use Telnet to view programs that aren't logging into a terminal. For example, you can go to towel.blinkinlights.nl and you can get Star Wars in your terminal. Essentially, it's just sending over all of these things that I see here to my terminal just with regular old TCP nothing fancy and in order to clear the screen and all that it, what it's doing is sending a clear screen character just like any other any old terminal would be able to use if you send a clear screen character to your terminal it will actually clear the screen I don't know what key combination triggers a clear screen on uh, this terminal, but eh, whatever. And you can also use Telnet to view other different kinds of services. For example, there's an old protocol called Gopher, which is pretty similar to HTTP, but it has some different semantics, it doesn't have as many features, blah 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 blah. I personally like it a lot better, but the web was made using HTTP. The, I guess that's the definition of the web. The web is where all the data is. So, as you can see, it will try to access the IP address of that server. It will connect to the server, and then it will tell me that the escape character is control right bracket and then it will display some stuff. Cool, we can manually access some protocols. There's another utility that's very similar to Telnet called Netcat, usually abbreviated NC, because, well, NC is the way that you access it on a terminal. So I can also do NC and then do the same sort of thing. It's The first apparent difference is you don't see a whole bunch of stuff up here like you would with Telnet. But with Netcat, you don't see it. But there's also another difference, which is a bit more subtle. Telnet is for the Telnet protocol. And the Telnet protocol is defined by RFC 854 is a bit more than just sending back different uh, characters with TCP. First off, it will only send anything once you press the enter key, and that's pretty important. Uh, I do think Netcat does that as well, but I'm not sure. And another thing is that there are these escape codes. What you do is you send the IAC escape character which is character number 255, the highest value character you can possibly do. Now, ASCII only goes halfway up uh, the possible bytes you could do, which is, uh, like, I, I think it's 120, no, 132 maybe, or 133. No. 
127. It's 127. So, anything above 127 is fair game for using whatever you want it. For using it as whatever you want. And, of course, there are some escape characters in with those 127. Telnet adds functionality in the rest of the characters. There is, like, no operation, which is <laughs> kind of silly. And it also has some uh, different terminal mode functions and other functionality. Netcat doesn't have any of this. It's much, much uh, more focused on just sending and receiving TCP packets. And... Netcat also has a few other features. For example, it allows you to send UDP packets with the dash U flag, and it allows you to force U TCP, it allows you to force IPv6, so on and so forth. And in addition, if you want to telnet into a server with Netcat, First off, you won't get any of those fancy, uh, uh, whatever these are, these uh, commands. You also will not uh, be able to have it automatically go to Telnet. If you go to towel.blinkinlights.nl, it won't just assume that you're doing Telnet. It will autom. It, sorry, it will force you to specify port 23 and then and only then you can get uh, one of these these telnet sessions I hope that was interesting for you uh, tune in next time